channel and happy Sunday morning or actually if it's your first time here hi my name's Missa join the fam subscribe please <laughs> so today as you can see by the title I'm going to be doing a full face of favorites and it is all going to be high-end favorites and I'm going to also do a second part to this video which is a full face of favorites drugstore because to be honest actually when I was looking through my collection I was like what's my favorite in this drawer what's my favorite in this drawer so much of it was drugstore and I was not really struggling but a little bit struggling to pick what my favorites would be for high end because I so often gravitate towards drugstore but anyway I feel like I'm just absolutely fanning around and I think we should just begin so we're gonna begin with a little bit of skincare because I'm dangerous it's a moisturizer um in fairness and it's the glam glow glow starter in the shade nude glow this is epic this is amazing it's a little bit expensive but my goodness if this is not worth it honestly trust me buy it try it you'll love it there is a sample set you can get that has a little mini one of this in it and um, so maybe if you're wanting to try glam glow i'll link that down below in the description box as well because you can just get a more of a, a vibe of what um what it's all about anyway it's basically a very 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 illuminating beautiful moisturizer but what i find is that my makeup just sits so beautifully on top of it so let's just wrap it on flippity flop someone messaged me and said oh no wonder mine doesn't look like the way yours does because i use a tiny amount whereas me as in me i use quite a lot because it just feels so nice on my skin but also then you get much more of a glow from it so i'll typically use like that much which in the scheme of how big and full the pot is when you buy it it's not that much this is going to last me quite a long time but it's also one of those products that I've decided I'm not saving for best which is what I do with a lot of products to be honest because I'm just that kind of person and I'm like that when it comes to like candles and stuff as well I'll be like no I need to save it for best but this I just love using it do you see that lovely shine I will go out bare face just wearing this moisturizer um because it just kind of evens me out a little bit smooths me down it doesn't get rid of redness or anything as you can see like around my nose and eyes and stuff but it's fabulous just look at it i need to roll these sleeves up glorious glorious wonderfulness so the foundation i'm going to go on to is my nars what's it actually called natural radiant longwear foundation look how much I've used in this bottle. We are down to here. Um, I use the shade Yukon. Um, does it have a number? L2.5? Yukon, anyway. This is £35. It is expensive, but it's, it's just so beautiful. I love it so, so, so much. And Yukon is almost a perfect match for me. It's not quite, but it almost is. The one below it is too pale, and I've not tried the one above it, tempted to buy it but i think it would just be too dark so this fake ponytail is annoying me but i didn't want to put a wig on and i just wanted to feel like i had hair so yeah anyway i'm gonna use this let's jump in it is beautiful you'll see it when it's on i've used this quite a few times on camera so I won't um, go on too much about it. All I will say is if you're someone that's never tried a high-end foundation and you're wanting one to try, this is the one I would recommend. But saying that, Clinique Beyond Perfecting is just as beautiful in my opinion. Look at my skin. Look at it, I will do a close up. Um, and as you can see, this color is really good on me. I would say a quarter shade too dark for me, 
but like I said, the one below it is too pale. Anyway, let me finish off the rest of my face and then I'll just do a close up and show you because we all know I chat too much. So it's now applied to my whole face. If I zoom this in, it will darken, but actually you'll be able to see more realistically what it is like. Ignore my eyes, because they will just crease so badly, but it's just so smoothing, so perfecting. It's not cake, because I can still see like little blemishes and stuff. That really doesn't bother me, because overall, like, it looks so good. And I don't mind having a little bit of real life kind of, you know, skin in there. And yeah, if you are my kind of colour, Yukon is great. I mean, I can wear it with like a strap top and I don't feel like I've got, you know, like an orange face. It's just so good. So good. I just feel so confident when I wear it and that's really what I love getting in a foundation, you know. It's just when you're like, yeah, mate, I look great, you know. <laughs> This next product will not come as a shock to many of you. It's the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. This one is in the shade Lace. This is the most beautiful concealer I have ever set my eyes on. It is, I can't even tell you how good this concealer is. It is hydrating, it is full coverage, it is comfortable. It will get rid of dark circles, but it will not cake you up. It's not drying, it's just amazing. Trust me. So weird that I'm doing my face first before my eyes. This bottle is running out. It's making me very sad. I'm just gonna go in my sponge. I really don't need to put it on my nose or chin or Cupid's bowl, but it's just such a habit. This was. £16 when I first bought it and I was on Beauty Bay yesterday because I was going to buy another one because this bottle is running out and it's £16.75. Why the 75p extra? It's just so unnecessary. Because I have used all these products on my channel before, I would love to know down in the comments if you have bought them off of my recommendations and what you think of them. So I was just about to say again, if you haven't tried a high-end concealer but you're looking to try one, this is one that I can't recommend enough as well. Um, it does crease on me but anything will crease around my eyes if they are not set with powder, but once they've set with powder, everything is fantabby dozy. I actually used way too much there. <laughs> I did not need to use that much, so although it is expensive, you don't really need to use a lot to get um, a good effect. This base just gives me so much confidence. I feel great, I feel really covered where I want to, but I don't feel caked. And talking of not feeling cakey, the next product is powder. And this was a real toss up, like with the foundation between that and Clinique, this was a real toss up between what I'm gonna use and the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent. I think that is probably the best powder on the market but this one is pretty much equal to it to be honest i actually have a drugstore one for my drugstore video which is incredible it is the fenty beauty pro filter powder this one is in the shade butter i got this on the day it released which was very exciting well actually i was still yeah when did this release because i was actually still off with my back or I think this might have been quite early on in my back injury and Hamish bless him went to Harvey Nichols with a little list on his phone and just gave his phone to the woman at the Fendi counter and she just got it all for him. Um, 
I'm just getting rid of any creases. So this powder is smoothing wonderfulness. It's just fantastic. There's something about this shade on my skin tone that's just perfection because it's not translucent but it's also not really got um it doesn't deposit color like a pigmented powder but it doesn't not give me a little bit of color like it's just perfect i'm actually just gonna bake my entire face really presses the powder in and keeps it my makeup in place all day So now I've got my base complexion products on, I want to use a setting spray just to hold it all in place but also give me a bit of moisture back after powdering my entire face. My favourite high end one is the Glam Glow Glow Setter, I can say Glow Starter, Glow Setter. This is incredible, it's got such a fine, 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 fine mist, it is so beautiful. You need to press down quite hard on the thing and press it for... How do I explain it? Like, it's not like a, if you just do like that, it's quite spitty, but if you do that, it's very lovely. So just remember to do like long, slow sprays. It's so noisy outside, again. I'm really sorry about the noise, I'm just gonna spray my face anyway. just a lovely spray. I'm getting very upset with the noise outside. Don't know about you. The noise seems to have settled a pinch. I'm actually just going to carry on with my face and then do eyes in a bit. Don't know why, don't know what's happening to me. Let's just be dangerous because you only live once. So for contour, one that I have been absolutely gravitating towards so much um, is my Too Faced Coco Contour. I love this palette. It smells great. Um, to be fair, I do only use three shades in it. I use um, this one, this one, and this one. So both of these for contouring. And then when I contour my nose, I use this lighter one mixed with the kind of really pale, kind of biscuity, creamy shade because it just makes nose contouring a little bit softer. I just find this formula so incredibly smooth and easy to apply. And because it does have that really light contour shade in it, you can just use that and it's way, way natural. Or if you're like me, use the middle shade and then go um. It really smells so good. Like, incredible. Incredible. Chisel away that double chin. See that's just so subtle there. I feel anyway. You might not agree. Get this big neep. Is neep a universal word or is that a Scottish word? means head, face, your neep. I just think the tone of this contour is so perfect. Pale skin, medium skin or deep skin, there is an option for everyone and then also like a matte highlight shade as well. £35 so I know not everyone is going to want to buy that, but if you do want a nice high-end contour palette, would highly recommend this one. Very muchly. It's just lovely. And then moving into bronzer, my favourite one is Got to Be Hula Light in my high-end category. Fenty is coming close, I've now used that twice. 
so good but this is more tried and tested so i feel like this is the better one to use in this video hula light is just so perfect it's just the right tone for my complexion especially when i'm wearing a foundation that actually matches me so yeah i i love this it is expensive but in my opinion worth it i don't know if they do minis of hula light yet do they if they do grab a mini to try it out first Look at that, it's just so beautiful. I mean, Hula formula is beautiful anyway. It's very smooth, it's very finely milled and then pressed really well. This big kind of one lasts years, quite honestly. Maybe not if it's your only bronzer, but these big ones tend to last me like three years. Um, Look at that colour. Do you know what I mean? It's just adding that lovely sunniness to my face. But it's not got any orange in it. It's just beautiful. What I like about this is I find it quite difficult to overuse it. Whereas with like deeper bronzers, I can quite easily go overboard and put on way too much. This. It just goes on like an absolute dream come true. I want a bit more over here. If you are pale and you struggle to find a bronzer or you're just wanting to try a high-end bronzer, this is the one. But this won't work if you are not fair skin toned. Isn't that lovely? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I hate to hey, but she went to Craig's about four or five minutes ago and I'm now really stressed that something's happened to him so let me just phone Hamish and then we'll come back and continue. He went on a walk and didn't tell me and then wonders why I'm worried. Do you know what I mean? What do we usually do next? We usually do highlight next. So let's just do that. Okay, so, 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 so. I love my ABH and Amrisey highlighter. This is definitely my favorite high-end highlighter i just adore it to to the ends of the earth it's slightly too dark for me when i am at my like normal skin color i usually have to use a deeper foundation so i'm just gonna use a fan brush this is the blank canvas f88 fan brush but i've got a second highlighter i'm gonna use as well because i couldn't pick between the two and it's a completely different kind of kettle of fish you know my ears stick out when my hair's up, not really. So with a fan brush, it's just not gonna apply quite as pigmented, so it should be fine with this skin tone that I've got going on right now, which is my actual skin tone. Look at that. The problem is I really don't think you can buy this anymore. They did restock it once. And I don't know if they plan on doing that again. If you have this highlighter, then you know why it's so amazing. If you didn't manage to grab it when it was on sale, I'm so sorry. I am really sorry. I have um, been very close. I've been very close to emailing ABH and being like, hey guys, do you have like a, like a spare one hanging around the office anywhere? Because I really don't want to run out of this one. The second highlight though that I'm going to use because it's incredible. It's incredible, but not everyone is going to like this. This is the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots highlighter, which is. It's kind of wet feeling, kind of squishy. It's much paler and it is very glittery. It's almost kind of silver toned in honesty. There's just something about this though that makes your skin look incredibly wet and dewy when you've got it on. The particles of glitter are very, very tiny. But again, like I said, a lot of people aren't gonna wanna wear glitter on their face, which I completely understand, but 
This is so beautiful. This cost me £30. I'm just going to use it on this Morphe highlighter brush just to kind of dust over my cheeks and just kind of give me more of like a wet sheen and I love taking it here on my face like any highlighter now these days I'll take there and it just gives you that wet look and I'm just really into that. But yeah, again, as I said, you ain't gonna like this if you do not like a little bit of glitter. And I do. I partake in glittering. If you press this on with your finger, you get a way more intense look. Like, oh, I was gonna do it on my chin. I don't wanna over highlight. My chin, I get in a lot of trouble for that. You can just press it on and just really intensify it. And like, look at the beautifulness. That is, that highlighter, kind of those, but that, you know what I mean? Ow, that was in my eye. I really need to put eye makeup on. You know, for blush, real sorry to do this again. I'm going to use two different products. Um, Benefit Dandelion. How could I not use this when in my blush declutter I was like, Benefit Dandelion is my favourite over 1,000 times. But I'm also going to use my NARS Dual Intensity just for a bit. Did you, did it, did that happen on camera? Can you see that? Thankfully it has landed as an intact cake on my leg. And hold, hold that in there. My Dual Intensity, this is in the shade Adored. But first of all, I'm gonna go in with Benefit Dandelion and just throw this on. This has very little product left in it, so I'm like having to scoop into the corner. I'm also loving this blank canvas F87 for blush. It's just really small. Small but mighty she is. Because I've got the mini. If anyone wants to buy me the full size you can. <laughs> Send it to my PO box. I don't have a PO box. Not that, not that, eh. Uh, is it famous? You don't need to be famous. I don't get that much PR that I need a PO box, trust me. Gorgina! Love it, sorry. Calm down, Melissa. And now, yeah, now my NARS in adoration, which I knew it was called that, but I had to double check. I'm mostly focusing on the light pink side. In fact, entirely focusing on that because I just want the sheen because I just feel like my skin is looking so glowy and lovely. And I just want to kind of continue that. And a glowy blush one of the most beautiful things in the world. I use this duo a lot in my own time. I barely bring it out on my channel because it is so expensive but it's just You know what, I almost just want to put on lashes and have lovely glowy skin, but that's not what this video is about, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna have to do eyes, and to be honest, don't want to. And then just for good luck, another spray of my Glam Glow Glow Setter because it's life. So it will come as no surprise to the vast majority of you the palette I'm going to use it's my dose of colours for indication just, just going to use it not going to apologise it's my favourite so I'm going to go in with the shade Necessary this one here, not the deepest brown 
because I don't want kind of the most pigmented eye look. I want to do more of just like a wishy-washy um, bronzed look, which I know weird for me, but you know, give me a chance. So I'm just gonna layer that up um, and I am dragging it out as you can see like all those girls on Instagram do and then they've got great like beautifully winged out looks even though I don't understand how because when I do it it looks quite messy but what ifs. And I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line as well just that same shade. I'm just bringing it up to meet what I've done. And then I'm just going to use that brush again, the one I used underneath my eyes, a blank canvas E85 and I'm going to dip in a churro. A pinch. I just want this in my outer corner mostly. These mattes are super pigmented, so you really can tap off the excess. And I'm just going to pack that on my outer corner as well. I don't want to make too much mistakes at this point. Because my base is completely done. <laughs> this palette is my favourite because it is very pigmented, first of all. So you get that punch of pigmentation. It blends like an absolute dream. Like a beginner could easily use this palette and blend out the, the shadows with no problem. Um, it's got that incredible blue in it that is just so special. Um, it's it's let's just keep wanting to say incredible because it just is is phenomenal blue. Like, look at that. Do you know what I mean? That was one one swipe. Funny thing is, I don't actually follow Desi or Katie on any social media platform, but this palette palette. Clearly just committing to doing one eye on camera and then I'll do the other eye off. I'm just going to grab a little flat brush and the shade Dirty Money which is the most insane old gold, kind of green gold. It's so beautiful. I know. Not using the blue. I'm just going to put this over my eyelid. I'm not even sure the beauty of this colour picks up on camera. It's like an olive kind of gold. You see what I mean? Like it's magical. And then I'm just going to grab a bit of the shade Cheens, which is the deepest brown. I need to hurry because my battery is flashing at me. Is that rotten? Put this on the very outer corner. I honestly didn't want too much of this um, deep brown in the look, but I had to use it just to blend that old gold shade in. And then very quickly before my battery runs out, I'm going in with the shade Just A Kiss, which is this gold, on my finger, and I'm just going to pat that over the front of my eye. This is more like a sheer-ish glittery topper. 
Okay, I'll quickly run off, do this eye off camera. We'll come back, put on lashes, but I need to use my battery now. Anyway, I just want to show you this gold color. A pinch more in detail. Because it truly is just so stunning. Like, it's just this wash. Can you see that? Of just gorgeous. Oh, I love this palette so much. I do kind of still feel like I'm having a really bad time with my eyeshadow, but right now, this is as good as we're gonna get. Okay, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do lashes, but first of all, my favorite high-end waterliner has got to be the new-ish Kat Von D cake pencils. These are so pigmented. This one is in brown, which I wanted to use brown instead of black because I'm wearing brown eyeshadows, so these are just so insanely pigmented and really, really long lasting as well. <clears throat> I haven't decided if I'm going to put a little bit of blue in the bottom of my eyes, which is why I've not delved into that yet. Um. Lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to go in with Tati Lashes TL6. These aren't necessarily high-end. They're not, like, I think my pinky goat lashes are actually more expensive than Tati Lashes, but I just love them. In fact, how much are these? Let me just double check. Yeah, 965 so it's actually cheaper than my drugstore pinky goat lashes, but I just thought this style would look nice with kind of winged out-ish eyes. So let me just throw these on and then we'll do the lower lash line and then we will move on to lips and we'll be done. So underneath my eyes I've decided I'm just going in with the shade Churro kind of all over and then a little bit more of Cheens on the outer corner and then just a little pinch of, what's it called, just a kiss on kind of the inner part and then just some lower lash mascara. Right, inner corner, I'm going in with one of my favourite products, that is high end, which is Stila. Um, this is Little White Lies and Yellow Tails and I just thought this would be nice with my kind of brown, um, smokyish, eye-ish, you know what I mean. So I'm just going to take that off on my little Morphe M321, which is a great inner corner brush. And just plunk that in the inner corner to be honest. I had to use Stila glitter and glow somewhere. To be honest, I'm surprised I've not used Urban Decay Distortion in this look. That is really pretty. quite a few different high-end lipsticks, liquid lipstick favourites, but one that I reach for quite a lot is my Dose of Colours um, liquid lipstick formulas. I've got about what, four or five, you would have seen them in my um, like liquid lipstick declutter. I didn't declutter any of them because I really like the formula. It's not drying, it's super long lasting, it's really, really good. I mean, you couldn't eat like a really oily meal and it would be perfect but it is long lasting you know while you're drinking and having fun I was gonna say just living life you know so I'm gonna use Dose of Colours sand today just because I feel like it's gonna go with the colour theme that I'm kind of wearing and my face and things and also I use the Dose of Colours palette so since I really love the brand and do reach for it so much I'm gonna go in with this one and um, the other one I was gonna pick was Jeffree Star I'm Nude which is the same price, or even one pound cheaper. Um, but I just, I use that all the time. And another one I really love is Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW lipstick, but Dulce is. Sand is a really interesting color. It's a cool tone nude. It's almost like a greasy nude, but very, on that kind of borderline where it's not weird, if you know what I mean. 
Just gonna use a drugstore, sorry, lip, uh, lip liner just to tidy it up and then give my final pulses, you know? Oh, this is completely the wrong color. So I best go throw on a pair of earrings. Let me decide which ones and come back and give my final thoughts and also do my poses that I love doing so much. Right, I really need to wrap this up because Friday's video, which is two days ago, the day you're watching this, because it's in the past, but for me it's present. It's all very confusing. It's just about to premiere and so I need to wrap up so that I can go and chat to you guys because yeah, I just, I love it. I love that you guys even want to chat to me because why? <laughs> so yeah, this is of course the end result of my full face of high-end favorites. Please let me know what you think. I mean, I guess of the look down below, but also of all the products that I picked. Are they things that you try? Have you loved them? Have you not loved them? Are you tempted to pick them up now that I have showed you them on me and all that jazz? Also, if you love these fabulous earrings, they were a fiver on, um, what is it? I want one of those. I want one of those. Dot com. What is it? I saw it first. <laughs> Look, it's all different like multicolored jewels, but mostly black and gold, and I think they're so good. Anyway, that was my full face of high-end favorites, things that I really, really trust, things that I really, really highly recommend, things that just work for me time and time again. Everything I've used, I would highly recommend. The only thing that I think might be something that's not for everyone so it's something not everyone would enjoy is the Fenty Diamond Bomb because it is quite glittery but it's so fine but yeah apart from the Fenty Diamond Bomb I really feel like everything is super universal as in most skin types would like them most people that just enjoy makeup would like them in my humble opinion um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the makeup. It's not my favourite eye look I've ever done, but actually, I don't know if you can just see that beautiful gold sparkle at the front. Gosh, I just can't stop, can I? I can't stop. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're excited for part two, which is all gonna be drugstore favourites. And on that note, I'm probably gonna go. To be honest, need to need to get on with this. So if you did like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up because it really, really, really helps me out. Also, leave me a comment down below because I reply to all my comments and subscribe because it's the polite thing to do. And let's just hit 50k. Let's just do it. Why not? Why not? I'm not even at 35 and I'm talking about 50, but let's just do it. Our emoji of the day is just going to be glitter. Glitter emojis and cash emojis because, I mean, if I added all this up, I'd probably feel a little bit sick. I hope this gave you some good ideas of what I think are really good high-end products, really worth your money, and I'm really, really, really gonna go now because I keep talking. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.